January 2021, where you had indicated to the court that you wanted to lay charges against Mr. Mujiako. Do you recall that? Eh, umashikata age izolo besi sa kulumi sa skoto sa nage ngalo le zibiti lelege LURR one la ubusho kona age uguti kwa kuhishi so sa kwa kuhishi so guti ge ubo piso na mage utuwe sa matala ngage na umchiyako usa kumbul? Yeah, wangu sanganda. That's correct, my lord. And the presiding officer then postponed the matter to the 2nd of February 2021, but before doing that, she indicated to you that a legal aid attorney will be provided to you in the regional court so that you can pursue whatever uh, 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 complaints uh, and otherwise you had with Mr. Mujiako, correct? Uh, the Sisters of Nagay, E2 of February, who are not near the 2021. Got on a Pambiwa Lokoge, E Manch, Yasa Igushoge, when I'm not a Kazelage, Uguti, a Unelunga Loga, Loguti, a Wenzege, Iskala, Nomage, Umeli, Umelus, Omtola, Wayo, Illegal Eight, got to Kalalona, the Angel Lee, so that's a Manja Lee, you saw like a Vishnu Court, Ilaga, Loyo Melo, Ezok Sizag, and Galoko, when Ubu Kalangago, Mila Nomchiak. Yes, my lord. Now, at the regional court in Tabari, because we don't have those records here, did you pursue this matter with whatever legal aid attorney was allocated to you to proceed to complain and lay charges against Mr. Mujiako? It all has been really like a man, the Eglin Cantolo, about my visa, get Peter is a regional court. In a bear so 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 um to the legal um made a lawyer um boso or no more with legal aid. What Kubega Yenigan, now look office put to Kubega Gago go to get Utresa Matala, no more bo piece a Yenum Chiak. Uncle Cosen Cantoranga Kuluma Galasses cutting them closer. I did not proceed, my lord. I only spoke at the time I terminated his mandate. But even now, my lord, as I'm standing in before this court, I still have that wish or I still uh, want to proceed. Okay, now let's deal with that exhibit RR1 in brackets 1 and exhibit RR. Now, we go back to the date of the 22 of June 2020. <coughs> Eh, manje ge si zoya ge si masi pega la na ge soya kuila nga ge la nga i twenty two zega chun kunyaga ge ga twenty twenty. Yeah. Yes. Uh, on that day, you were taken to Tabani according to to, to Tabani Magistrate Court according to evidence led in this honourable court. Now my question to you is: Did you appear in person, physically, in front of a magistrate, just like here in court, you appearing? in front of the Leonard uh, Justice. Eh, Galelo and Galelo, the Faraz of the two Pamba and Cantolo, Ugut Booty, a Wayag, a Green Cantolo, ESA, Caban and Galelo and Galelo, twenty two's got twenty twenty. Manja Umbozo, I'm Utig. Nanjang of a manj, Yabona Manja Guganja, and Cantolo, Unamesu, the Pamwako, Nala, Wafiga, Yino, and Gena, and a Paga Ten Cantolo, a Wabona in Manj, it is a pair student side. Day 22. Day 22, yep. Day lang alok ka lang nga. Was it the very same first day? Yeah, Bob. Kung ko sing kandolo, may lang day lang nga. Parang shit lang pagkako kwa walang at danger day po ko sing kandolo. No, my lord, I did not go inside. It was, they had cordoned off there with a tape. Now, your testimony on that aspect is that a prosecutor then came to the car in which you had traveled in to confirm that indeed you are the person that Mohane brought at court together with the document accompany you to court, correct? Manjege upfagaz bako maila na logo buti. Eh, umshushi si weza emu tuwe ni la wa ushezi giona, wa ushezi giona wena. Ezo pega na mezo wenzi sprinsego soko timpela uwe na lo ose mu tuwe ni umukhane azenayi. Yewe nko senka ntelo wezo umukhane na umshushi. Suta nga zemze nko statu tika shika tele mutu umshushi. Se ukubia wei kala lendele nita nga serastin bebe. Yes, my lord. Mukhane and the prosecutor came to the vehicle. I only got to know afterwards that the person that came with Mutane, sorry, Mukhane, was the prosecutor in the matter of possession of ammunition in Rastin Bebe. And what was the sex and race or ethnicity of that prosecutor? 
lo muntu lo nake oyihamba no mukhane othi wazi kamuvake ukuthi kwa kumshushisi kwa kumuntu esilisa umuntu esifazane eh umuntu omhlophe umuntu omnyama ah umuntu omnyama kwa senkantolo ah it was a black person umuntu obaba njalo sekhulile eh an elderly gentleman and as he comes to observe inspect you the prosecutor did he speak anything to you ese zileke ezokubheka noma ezokubuka ke umshushisi loyo ke wakhuluma nawe kanko senkantolo kwehliswa nje fastela kuphela wangibona wasekhuluma nawe nabo koma bena ngaphansi ngizwa ngikhulunya ekhulunya ko senkantolo no my lord it's just uh, the window that was uh, slightly tilted down uh, and uh, then uh, moved aside uh, and spoke to the likes of mapena but i couldn't hear what they were speaking about now on the next appearance which is the 29th of june 2020 uh, it is noted on exhibit rr that the court is not working and then that mm -hmm. you were not brought to court because you were isolated due to an incident relating to covid 19. do you recall that just a moment. Okay. Lana Gay 29, Zagatun, 2020, Kupaliwege, Ogutin Cantolo Yang and Sebenzi, or Umsolo Agaletiwe Nangenage, M. Komog, Nama Imbandelage, Ye Covid. You look up Palogo and Zagangazo E29, Gutun 2020. Gutti, I'll let you in Cantolo Yang and Sebenzi, no Gutti foot in our gay, our Zange, Uvel and a Pamgun Cantolo, Gendaba, Ye Covid. Yavon Cosin Cantolo and Gaz, Otto, and Sawa Kumbola Malanga. Yes, my lord, I can hear, or I do hear that, but I cannot remember the dates. Okay, but do you recall that at some stage you were isolated due to COVID that necessitated you not to be taken to court? Eh, court wage ingabe usakumbula yini eh kuna lento ke la umuntu wayiqhelelanisa khona ke kuma banye noma ngahlanganike nabanye abantu uma ku ukuthi kutholakeleke no eh ene COVID usakumbula yini ke ukuthi awuzange uye enkantolo wena ke ngenxa yalelo daba le the covid kusenkantolo ngisakhumbula ukuthi khona ila ngafuna ngihambe ngalo ngeenkantolo erastinda kwi data ngisakhumbula wafika khona usayitshene umkhano wangithatha wangisa kwenye indawo ethi yongijeke ikorona kodwa ama rezasakaza ngwathola la manje ah i do recall a date or a particular a particular day my lord when i was uh, supposed to attend court in rustenburg but uh, i didn't go mukhane came and took me my lord and said that i had to go and uh, test uh, for uh, corona or for covid but i've never re uh, received the results say the prosecutor is addressing the court and he says uh, so so let me read back uh, perhaps where the court is uh, asking mr mohapesi and he says mr mohapesi and he says no they are coming in from the side i see that the, the gentleman more or less behind you he has got a document in his hand just check if it's in the correct courtroom and the prosecutor said, he said he is here for today, Your Worship, first appearance. And the court asks, is it a first appearance? Let's stop there. Eh, la nage, eh, inkantolo ikulumisana nomage ikotusana na yege umnumzana umukhapaisi, eh, atika bazage bakamuga ngaglo usango tilolo ngabonage umlisa loyo, eh, osemuva kwako, Eh, une pepa no magia ma pepa wa pete e sante ni gena aumpege ge ugu tu senga ugu u senga ndolo e fanele yin no ma ego yona yin eh, umshushi si uti ute ulana ge uzele na muda lana eh, msun, eh, 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 shogyo na ge ngosi senga ndolo eh, uzo vela ge pam ge no ma senga ndolo e sante lo kala senga ndolo ya se ibuza ge e sante lo kala yini e zobingelela imanch now do you recall this date of the 
13th of July, 2020, according to the court question and the prosecutor's answer, that was your first appearance now in court, in person, at Kabani Magistrate Court. Do you recall this date? In Gabba the Langa Lili Gelanga thirteen, good July twenty twenty, I'll come bola in. Go bag, Omakfunda logo, Opali, well, and I get Paraty with Manch, Igan and Ayeg, Umshushisi, Wabu Langa Laka Lokala, Ubingela in Manch, in Gabba Kumbula in the Langa Lil. Cosan Ganton Jabang Tamalang and Sawa Kumbulgans and Tamang and Telepala Lapa Pankos and Ganton. My Lord, as I indicated that I cannot recall the dates, it is possible as it is written here. Now, what is of pivotal importance uh, is the fact that was put to you yesterday uh, in contrast to your testimony that uh, you did not meet Mr. Mujiako in court on the 13th of July 2020 and therefore he did not represent you. I just want to clarify that aspect now in relation to now what is contained in exhibit RR in bracket 1. Let me repeat, let me shorten it. Now, your testimony before this was finished to us, RR1, was that you had never previously seen Mr. Mujiako representing you at the Tabani Magistrate Court and that you had not seen him. We call that evidence. Nga pambili ngo guti snigwe ege lel pepe, nama la ma pepe la nage es na oge manje pam guetu, ushilo wena kupfagaz bak, uma wetula upfagaz bak, ugutige, uh, my lord, I think I've, uh, I believe that I've said this uh, uh, before this court that just as I was about to enter, I didn't even enter, I was about to enter, and then someone stood up, uh, and then I was then told and, and, and addressed the court, and then I was told uh, to leave. So uh, that person had never even uh, visited me or came to consult with me in the police station, my lord. So, and this person was wearing a mask as well as uh, uh, glasses. So I wouldn't even say that that person was uh, representing me. Go on, Manchester. Take him into Angbuza and tell him to get a mask. Go and stand by Angbuza. Because even the magistrate, my lord, never asked me anything as to whether I knew this person. Maybe if the magistrate had asked me. Now, did you instruct Mr. Mujiako to appear for you on the 13th of July at the Tabani Magistrate Court? Laba kona yi ni el suga kwenye noma el puma kwenye eliti kumchiyako mmele noma oza ube umeli wam nge i 13 suga chulai enkanto liya se tlaban. Kwa senkanto liya zang kulume na nukutu wa hichena uba nukutu nye katele tlaban na mmazo wapena mtu manga kumane na ena. I never spoke to him a lot and uh, also the fact that as to who informed him that I was going uh, to court in tlaban, I don't know who did that because there was no communication, uh, sorry, uh, contact between myself and this person. And... When Mr. Mjiyako addressed the court in Rustenburg, well, he addressed the court in, at the Tavani Magistrate's Court. Amongst other things, he says, we are prepared to apply for bail. Did you give Mr. Mjiyako instructions to apply for bail for you? Kogunyege agu usho enkantolo ya setlabane umchiago kwa kugutige si misele ugutige senze na mashkubege nestelo sepeil. Ingabe kono wagu usho wena guena ugutige aga kwenze nestelo sepeil. Kwa senkantolo lonto nkalo guizwa lapa pambu kwa senkantolo lena lapa nkona nje ngamaji. The first time I heard that from my lord was in this court. And I would have appreciated my lot if a uh, bail was granted because I would have gone back to work. And I would also have appreciated it if it was noted here, my lot, whether I was asked by the magistrate if I wanted to be released on bail. But now, my lord, that which is being spoken here, yeah, I know nothing about. Now, since your arrest on the 16th of June 2020, until you appeared in Kabane Court on the 22 June 2020, did you consult with Mr. Mujiako pertaining to this matter or the matter that is before you? 
before this honorable court being postponed on us 636 of 10 2014. Uksuga Nasus Kato Abushwa Kui 16 June 2020. Kwa ze kwa yoba ilanga lo kala uvela ge enkantolo e tabani ge 22 zika June 2020. Ingabe watala yini pants ina ye umchiyako. Nikuluma ge nikulumisane logo kutuwa pekele zige u consult. Pakati go meli na lo we ammele. Nishale pants nikotla nikulumisane ge kala. Lona ikala lili el pamgwa le enkantolo. Lili la se fosla raso 6610 2014. Kanko se nkante lo mtu niti na manja zanga figa game. Mwana manja zanga figa game. No, my Lord, I am saying that this person never came to consult with me. Even now, I'm still saying that yet never I came to consult with me. Now, yesterday, a letter was placed on record, and the essence thereof was Mujiako attorneys incorporating were withdrawing as your attorney of record uh, from representing you in any matters. Was that letter, as that letter of Mujiako, allegedly, what is the letter set to you? I am not a fool. 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 I am a fool. I am not 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 a no, my lord, the first time I saw it was when it was read here in court. And any police station that you were arrested to personally inform you that he's withdrawing from representing you. Where are you? 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 Where are no, my lord, he never arrived or he never came. I'm the one who terminated his mandate in Rustenbeck. Now, the appearance of the 20th of August 2020 and the gist thereof at 9 9 from line 9 onwards is that Mr. Mjiako is appearing in the Tabani Magistrate's Court purportedly on your behalf. He then informs the court that you are abandoning the bail application. Did you give such an instruction? Just. To Mr. Just. Okay. Uh, Gelanga, Gelanga, nine. Sorry, sorry. Gate twenty is the August. Can I just get there? My apologies, my lord. Gate twenty is the August. Oh, Mr. Mchiako, get oh, Meliwako. Nanjo, figure beyond. Let's go to RR1, Mr. Jonas, to make it easy. RR in brackets one. Yes, that's where I'm paging. I'm now on the, page 22. I'm on the 17. That's page 22. Sorry, my lord. just from uh, line eight, nine, line eight, the court says, Mr. Mjiako, that's a question mark, and Mr. Mjiako then uh, addresses the court and says, as the court pleases your worship, your worship, I, uh, I apologize this, this morning for arriving late. Your worship, I have received instructions from Mr. Ntanzi that, that he wishes to abandon his bail application. So then. The question is? The question is, did you give Mr. Mjiako this instruction to okay. abandon bail on your behalf? Ngale langa age langa 20 zga okasi 2020. Lana age umnumza numchiyago uya kuluma age ukulume nkantolo. Asho ke guti uya kolisa age kolisa kyo nage imanji ngo guti ke efigaya emu vage kwe skati. Abe siya kubege ge ati. Because in Cantolo, namusage nchelewege nomage nchelewe uye na umnumza numtanzi uguti. Access on a Swiss Saga, no matter Swiss Saga, who got it, and a sack could be, no matter a sack could be, and as if there's a pig. In a umbuzo utig and manje, Wagusha Yeni when a local Gumchiago, Ugotica, our surface, go to my program and still the pig. Concos and Catalagas and Colo Menai. No, my lord, I never spoke to him. 
Goba ngisho namanje ukuthi ngamuhle ukujabulela ukuphuma ngibuyele emsebenzi enkosi enkantolo. As I'm saying uh, even now my lord that I would have appreciated being released and to go back to work. And I, I just want to wrap up this issue of Mr. Mjiago with two questions. The first one is did you personally as somebody that was employed before you you were arrested did you personally financially instruct Mr. Mjiago to appear on your behalf? Did you pay him to appear on your behalf? No, my lord, I haven't. I didn't. And as well, uh, I think I also asked you this previously, but I'll ask it again. Did you sign any special power of attorney, a general power of attorney? Appointing Mr. Mujiako to take care of your legal problems as your lawyer to advise you. Eh, manji kwa na yini ngwato wa isa yinda la unigeza kwa nage umchiyako ama kuhunya ugutike yena na njengo mmeli akmeli uguti noma ilipu utaba all patelene nezo mteto ekbe uyena oksiza yo klona. Kwa sanka ndola yiki ngwate nga isa na ame na ngazi 24 mkalo kumbona as a yiki ngwate nga 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 wa ati kimi no, my lord, there is no documentation or document that I signed. Even on the 24th, when I saw him for the very first time, I never signed anything. He just said to me that he'll come and see me. I am still waiting for him. Now, after the withdrawal letter that was read yesterday was served on the DPP or NPA, did Mjiako attorneys incorporated or Mr. Mjiako himself issue a letter of demand for the legal fees that they say you owe them. Eh isi fundi wege le ngwa tibi fundo la izol. La abe shoko na kukuta basa kubegi no gumela. Iko na yini ngwa te wa itola. I ngwa ti eti. Ndota wenage ima lige ekfane lusko ke yona. Ile na manje ige se siti kwe nage na ima le si funa yo kwe na. Nga wiko na yini ngwa ti ega njalo o wa itola. La abati kwe nage kune mali oba kolota yona. No, my lord, I didn't. Now, let us move on to this aspect at Puking, uh, where you were taken now after the so called ammunition was found in your residence. You recall that incident? Eh, Sia Manjago, Tabalaso, Puking, Labati, Kona, Gebatola, Gelain, Tam, Vulezi, Guena. From your place, your testimony is that from your residence you were then transported back at Puking SAPS. But the point that I want to come to is this. It was put to you by my learned colleague, Mr. Sibande, that via the entry, uh, OB entry from Puking, that you were placed at the cells in Puking. Were you placed at the cells in Puking? Manjege, se nibuyage la wosala kona, Besho ge uguti batole le intramvu lez Beti ge manje sene ya hamba ne police station Akshilo ge guwe na u Umshu shisigo Mr. Sbanda Uguti ge wa makfigo kona la payana wafaga ge guma sel ase pugeng Kwa nko sengkato la kwa zenge ne masele Nga nkele monti yon kwa sengkato la masele ase pugeng Nga mwazo utanja nko sengkato No my lord I was never taken into the cells in pugeng I was seated in the vehicle I don't even know how the cells in pugeng look like and you testified that the notice of rights, uh, the SAP 14 capital A, was brought to you while seated at the motor vehicle and you signed it. Is that your testimony? Uchilo Futi no Gutige Leangwat, Eguli Nwat, Mampoisa Ibiza, Gabati, SAP 14 A, Yelena, Ala Kona, Ekba, Lokonage, Amalunga, and Gogom Teto Segel. Uchilo Uguti Leomat Leo by letter, Uchesi Emotwin. Why let Sergeant Mohan Kosenkanto? Yes, Sergeant Mohan brought it, my lord. Now, related to that, another aspect came up, which is two officers, Mr. Molefe and Mr. Ramaja, noted in the OB that you were examined in the cells and that you had no visible injuries. Eh, Babi Ligue, Namama Bilige, Mapoisa, Akona Lapo, Molefe, Kanyana Ye Uramaja. Abatige kona lapo kumasel alapo wape kwa age kwa tolagala ugutige Akuna glimala nama Sorry I see I see I want to object to this 
Please, in that entry, my lord, there's no way it's written, examined. It was just an entry that was noted, which says no injuries. Yes, Mr. As the court pleases, uh, my lord, uh, I'm getting uh, conflicting. Apparently, from what Mr. Banloy just whispered to me, is that it was an entry saying they conducted cell visits and this uh, notation or recordal was made. Uh, <clears throat> but do you recall at any stage, whether in the car or in the cells, Sergeant Mulefe and Ramaj are coming to you and noting that you've got no visible injuries on your person? Uh, my lord, no police officer came to me uh, except Mohane who came with a document to have uh, me sign the documents and thereafter we left. Okay, let's move on. Now, according to the entry at Pretoria North SAPS police station where from Rustenburg you were then detained on the 16th of June 2020. It says that you were detained and booked in under the Nongoma Cas 163 of 10, 2020. Do you recall that was put to you by my learned colleague, Mr. Sibanda? 163 of 10? 163 of 10, uh, 2020. Yes. Uma uh, manje uh, 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 I still maintain before this court, my lord, that I was never arrested for a Nongoma uh, case. Uh, when I was arrested, my lord, I was arrested for this matter that I am appearing before this court on. Now, on the 16th of June 2020, at phase two, when the two police officers knocked, they introduced themselves, they show you appointment cards and the like. What was the allegations that they told you that, that we are looking for you for these allegations? Was that the Nongoma case or was that the case before court now for Storas Cas 636 of 10, 2014? Manje Gengazo is 16, June 2020. I'm a poisa, i Uma besho gwena uguti in solo esik funela zona ilis. Bati nige bati in solo ze kala lawa nongoma no ma levi el pambo ngandolo njenga manji. Babe kuma nga lele kala pambo kosen pambo kosen kanto. They were referring to this matter before the court now, my lord. Now, after your arrest on the 16th of June 2020, until today, the 16th of February 2024. Has Mohani, as the investigating officer of that Nangoma case, booked you out and interrogated, interviewed you, or talked to you about the allegations in the Nangoma case? Fuxuga ngalo ilang alang e 16 ku June 2020. Eh, kuzebe na mutla ge ku 16 zafepo adimo 2024. Ah, ingabe umuhani wage weza ku na wakipa wachala na wepanti wakulumisa na nawe futi wakbuza ge imi buzo na mekshomi imi buzo ngalo ikala la wanongoma. Tranko senkanto. No, my lord. Now, after the prosecutor in Fosno Ras declined to place this Nongoma case on the roll on the 19th of June 2020, have you subsequently appeared in court in Nongoma regarding this matter, the Nongoma case 16310 of 2020? Emu vage goguti umshushisi. Uh, 
umshushitsi e selinge ekho kwa lokuqala inkantolo ngalelo lang ingabe likhona yini ihlandla noma ilanga la owaya khona ke enkantolo wayovela noma kwanongoma uvelela khona iqala lili laba nongoma cangwa senkantolo no my lord and do you know any of the accused person or accused persons or convicted persons on that nongoma case bakhona yini abantu baziyo ababi ngelela imanchi noma ke baya enkantolo beyo beyela lona lelo qala lelo abasolwa noma abamangalelwa noma ke ukuthi abantu abalahlwa yiqala kulona lelo qala lakwa nongoma bakhona abantu baziyo kosenkantolo ange bazi mena fama kosenkantolo mshuti mina umuntu mangangibuza ukuthi ingoma kuphi yona anse ngayiphendula le lezo zamacala ngizazi kosenkantolo I did say in, uh, before this court my lord that I don't know them the only thing that I mentioned before this court that I was to be asked about is where is uh, the singing or the dancing or the traditional singing or dancing my lord then I would be able to answer that but not uh, issues related to uh, court uh, cases Now at Pretoria North uh, in the boardroom on the 17th of June 2020 when you spoke to police officers including Mabena Mohane Mohola were you questioned about this Nongoma case did they ask you questions about this Nongoma case Manje ke sene lapha yana ke Pretoria North nge 17th June 2020 eh nikhuluma nabo ke Omabena Omohane eh kukhona yini abakubuza kona bekubuza mayela neqala leli laka Nongoma kanko senkantolo ngiqala ukuzwa ngabe ngabe khuluma la eboxini wethu nani neqala kwa Nongoma boye langa lokuqala ngiqala ukuzwa lo nto nanko senkantolo No my lord the very first time i heard about that was when they testified about it here in court Now let's move on to the 18th of June the events of the 18th of June 2020 Now you have testified about Gininda threatening you at Cartonville on the 18th of June 2020 uh, at the motor vehicle do you recall your evidence eh uh, uyaphumbula yini ubufakazi bakho mayelana ke nesahlakalo sange 18 zika June 2020 la owathi khona ke ugininda eh wakusabisa khona e Cartonville yeah yes now it was put to you that you are embroidering your testimony you are patching up your testimony regarding that aspect it never happened what is your comment? I disagree with what was uh, put to me by the state, my lord. And at Cartonville on the 18th of June 2020, did you make any utterances, remarks to Gininda pertaining this matter that he felt that were tantamount to a confession? according to him manje ke ngalo ilanga lilya akhuluma ngalo ke uBrigade ye Gininda la nge 18 zika June khona e Cartonville kukhona yini owakusho wena ke kuyena uBrigade ye uBrigade ye Gininda lokho okwaholela ekuthini ke yena ke uBrigade ye Gininda athi lokho engokutshelwa ke untanzi uyavuma ke untanzi noma untanzi uyagonyuluka ke kulokho angitshela bona khona yini owakhuluma ke yena wena no, my lord, there's nothing except that which he spoke to me and threatening me. Now, there at Caltenville, did you tell Geninda that you wanted to make a statement to an independent officer? Eh, kona lapo e Caltenville, washo yini wena ku Geninda uguti, ufisa ugwenza statement ku muntu o imele, umasukuma ku muntu o imele ke uti ke umuntu o nga sangene ne kala lili u Geninda alpenyayu. I submit the, the witness is being laid up fresh at this stage. Ah, please. Hear you. My Lord, he was taken by the prosecutor through this. Now he says you're leading the witness. Is it a leading question? Bamda says that. I, I, don't, I don't understand the basis of the objection, but let me rephrase it. Let's explain it. what you mean by leading the witness, Mr. Sibanda. I, 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 understand. I understand that, my Lord. I'm saying I don't understand the basis, but let me rephrase it. Now, according to the evidence of Geninda, you told him once you had made what he calls call, uh, remarks or utterances that are tantamount to a confession, you told him that you do not have a problem with making a statement to an independent officer. Did you tell Geninda that? 
ngokufakazi bakhe ke noma ngokufakazi obothulwa uyena ubrigade yeke ninda ukuthi kulokho wamtshela kona ke wena ukuthi ke awunayi inkinga yokuthi ke ungayo khulumisana ke nomuntu oyimele ingaba wakusho yini lokho wena ku brigade yeke ninda Tonko senkantola kwaza ngikukhuluma lokho No my lord my lord I never said that And it was further put to you in cross examination that Gininda stated that he spoke to you privately when this conversation happened did you at any stage have a private moment with Gininda away from other officers talking to him Okunye futhi okushiwa kuwena kushiwa uyena ke umshushisi ukuthi ke ngathike ni nale nkulumo wena nayo brigade ye Gininda anikhulumanga bekhona banye na nani kulmela ekelen umbuzo ke uti nge skona ke skati la kona ke nani kulmela kona ekelen ekelen wena no prekati yeke ninda asiko kwa sengkandon jomwa wabe nshiti wabe kona kona la petu za siki skasa kuma kona sabwa wabe nko sengkandon no my lord at no stage did we have a private conversation as i said previously that they were just here my lord uh, close by now it was put to you that you are fabricating the assaults and the events of the 18th of june 2020 that they did not happen. What uh, is your comment? Okay, you full talk show about when I go to get logo shilo when I get my lana logo when they can get 18th got June. No shy of up on gay 18th got June. Uti yin twang gay po. Uti no one o'clock. Blanco Sangatel and Kruman and Tayo call and Cosgatel and Zega foot again. I'm talking about something that exists, my lord, and that happened to me. It was further put to you that the Toyota Fortuna did not go anywhere near the dumping site that you mentioned on the 18th of June 2020. Ogunya Futige, Okshi Wogwenage, Ugutige, Imoto, Leadnan Hambangayo, Toyota Fortuna, Aikaze, Ie, Glendao, Le, Bukumanga, Ugutige, Ila, Wagasa Konage, Utot. Kosengandol, and the Tambayana Motangan Hambangayo, Minale, and Kosengandol. I believe, my lord, that's the vehicle that I was traveling in. And furthermore, it was put to you that. That Toyota Fortuna never went anywhere near where you saw the board that said Orlando on the 19th of June 2020. Ogunyo futi okshiwego nama okjeli wege uguti ngazo i 19th ga June 2020. Lea moto lea nage Toyota Fortuna. Aika aze iye kulo lea sangoti la utiwe na konage wabona ipoti epalwe Orlando. Kwa senkantole ipoti nga ibona kwa senkantole nga hii moto nga nkambang nga kwa senkantole. Enda wene ni. I saw the boat, my lord, and that is the vehicle that I was traveling in, in most of the places. Now, in terms of exhibit JJ that you were taken through, uh, Colonel Rapari said in his reply, when he was completing the form, you stated to him that you do not have a problem, that you are willing to make a statement freely and voluntarily to him. Did you say that to Colonel Rapper? Eh, Konage, even Zibit, Livigay, Ebel Funda Lanage, Gila Estatement, the Konage, Ebutua Sands, or Gain of Colonel Rapat. Eh, Gunenda, or La Apa, Lila Conal, Colonel Rapat, who to one pen to lage, what when I get, eh, Auna Yinking and Amui Missel, who to Makuluma Gianage, who could they give. Eh, in Abawakusho Yin, Logo Gain, or Colonel Rapat, who to send the statement in Jay, who sends the Spuma Gwena, who to pull they give. No, my lord, there's nothing that I spoke to that gentleman. No, my lord, there's nothing that I spoke to that gentleman. I'm still maintaining, my lord, that uh, if uh, that was done out of my own free will, then there would have been a statement that I would have written down in my own handwriting in Isizulu. Now, regarding the statement that you signed or the document, let me not say the statement, the document that you signed at the magistrate in Boxberg on the 24th of June, 2024. Did you sign that document voluntarily and freely? 2024. So, sorry, sorry, 2020, uh, 26 June, 2020. Uh, we in Kantolo, yes, Boxberg. Uh, Eh, kulo kwa kisa inda eh, ngazo i24 ka chun 2020 wa sa inda uh, usaina kwa kuitandela na mango puma kwena 
My lord, I did mention it before this court that when I signed there, that indeed I signed, and when I signed there, it was for the request that I had made, where I requested to make a telephone call as well as getting some uh, toiletries, uh, my lord. Now, regarding the events of the 24th of June 2020, after the events at the magistrate where you were taken at the industrial site, it was put to you that those events at the industrial site or park where you were forced to sign and blood spilled on some of the pages of that document, it's a fabrication. What do you say about it? not where he signed the, the facts are the same, but where you initialed those BS. Okay. Yes, my lord, I did initial there. Uh, I was forced to. It was not out of my own free will. And furthermore, regarding the financial inducement that you testified about the three million offered to you by Brigadier Gininda, it was testified, it was put to you that that's a blatant lie. the people that were involved in the alleged assault, torture, and abuse, a question was put to you yesterday, or a proposition was put to you, whether amongst those people you include the magistrate, Mrs. Kronje, Ms. Mutap being the interpreter, perhaps even extended to the magistrate in Rustenburg. What is your response to that today? Eh, <laughs> Uh, my lord, if I had been afforded an, an opportunity to address the court or to speak in Rassenbeck, then I would have, my lord. But what would happen in Rassenbeck is that I would, I would not be taken through where the other prisoners uh, uh, were taken, and, uh, or maybe I would just go into court and then someone stood, uh, stands up and addresses the court, and then I'm told to leave again. With regards to the police, I would then say yes, all the police work together. Uh, the person that I don't know as to where she works is the, is the white lady, my lady. Uh, up to now, I don't know where she works. Thank you, my lady. Now, you, certain discrepancies were put to you by my learned colleague pointed to you that you did not, for example, tell or confront the magistrate regarding the leg irons. Uh, you did not show uh, Colonel Rapper with the bloody t-shirt and 
the bloody vest. You recall the, 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 those kind of discrepancies that were put to you? Eh, kuna zinto ei shiwa ge kuena ge ukuti onga zangu uzi shono ma uikazege ukuti ge imanje awichelanga noma auzange uikombise ukuthi wena ke la enyawe noboshiwe ukhenela ngaphathi auzange umtshengiseke ukuthi ke wawune t-shirt iskipa kanye futhi nevest eyayinegazi kusenkantolo okuqala ngizokuqala ngiphendula ngobaba lo urapart firstly my lord i am going to uh, answer uh, on the uh, answer with regards to kenela ngaphathi ngizomkhombisa kanjani kusenkantolo umuntu ngishawe khona la how was I uh, going to show him, or how was I supposed to show him uh, when he was there uh, during the assault by Lot? Then uh, now uh, go to the magistrate, my Lord. As I am getting an alarm pendulum, now I can have a papal continent going. I pal and cut to what I pal and cut to the Cosin Canton. Even here, my lord, I did uh, note or even point the court that here, my lord, he, the magistrate noted down as to what it is that I was wearing, but the magistrate didn't note down the shoes that I was wearing or the shoes. Which is an indicator, uh, my lord, that uh, I was never asked anything by the magistrate. Because the magistrate was seated on the other side of the bench, my lord, the magistrate could only see the upper part of my body. Now, the question that I want to put to you, or the proposition is this. These events that you testified about from last week, Thursday, until now, happened on the 16th of June, from, let me say, from the 16th of June, 2020, until you testified here in court. Were you writing, whilst you were seated there, certain questions or certain issues that you should put or remind your counsel as he was asking questions here, like we do here, to remind ourselves with notes? Uh, uh, no, my lord, uh, I didn't carry a pen and uh, a paper and paper. Now, the second proposition is that these events, like I said, they happened 16 June 2020, some three years ago. How is your memory now of those events compared to when they happened back then in uh, 16 June 2020? Uh, Angazumengizwayo. <laughs> Some I can uh, remember, my lord, the majority of. Uh, because it is something that is in my heart, my Lord. It is uh, in my heart as I am uh, before appearing before this court. 
Uh, because I do not uh, ill-treat or abuse anyone and I also don't want anyone who is going to abuse me, my Lord, uh, on this earth. Now, talking about the heart, you were confronted that Dr. Tokwe mentions the heart in his report, that you've got the heart problem or condition in his report, and the magistrate similarly mentions in one of her observations or the recorders that you've got a heart problem. Did you tell the magistrate and Dr. Kloge that you had a heart condition? Usakuluma again gayo in Kizio. Umbigo wake utogotela utog utoge, Loyana gave a special sanga legi erasen peck, Ganyanayo i manji, manji wenagi as a box peck. Bapa di legi gumbigo ya boge ugutige wabachela wenage uguti une conoctupayo in Kizio no ma wabu. In gabe wabachela yin wena ugutige or sucha in Kizio. I did say, my Lord, that that was a big lie. No company or mining company, my Lord, would, uh, you, uh, would uh, let me work there when I am having a heart condition. As the court pleases, my Lord, my Lord, it's nearing uh, five past eleven. I request that we take a short adjournment so that I can confer with my colleagues on certain aspects. We'll resume after tea time. Okay.
been read into the, uh, into the record mm. by, amongst others, uh, Brigadier Kininda. I think uh, Sergeant Mohula and Sergeant Mohane. Mm. Now to try and dispel a notion at the end of it all that by virtue of the fact that the defense did not object to the to them when they were read into record, then it could be argued that by um, in, a, in a way of the fact that we did not um, uh, object to their reading into record, our conduct would then amount to the fact that we tacitly admitted or agreed or consented to the correctness of the contents thereof. The following is their position, my lord. Mm that the defense would like to put it categorically clear that in as much as they were read into record, the correctness of the contents thereof is still in dispute. We do not and we did not admit to the correctness of the contents of those entries as were read into record. And in fact, just to give a proper perspective in this regard, the state had approached the defense on numerous occasions, um, requesting the defense to admit to the correctness of the contents of those entries, and we have always been very specific in our response there to that. We do not admit same. They could have been read into record. It means the defense simply admitted those records for what they purport to be, but not really the correctness of the contents thereof. That mm. remained a dispute between the defense and the state. That was just point number one, my lord. Point number two. Point number two, my lord. I'm not done. Point number two, my lord. He says it's not done. Yeah, we just want to raise an objection, my lord. Um, we don't know what the process advocate minister is following. Um, we've reached the end of the state case. The matter needs to be now adjourned for argument. These are the issues that should be canvassed in, in, in argument and, and, and not at this point. No, fine. Let Mr. Uh, minister finish. He says it's not yet through. I've said, my lord, that with what I'm trying to do here, or I am doing here, is to dispel the notion which could be created to the effect that by virtue of the fact that the state, I mean that the defense did not raise this, therefore the, con the correctness of the contents of those OB entries is therefore not, not in dispute. I just wanted to put that on record very clear. So you're saying we, we, it is in dispute? Yes. We Why are, didn't you object then? Because when Ginina wrote, read the OBs and uh, Mah Mahano yes. and Mahole, Mahola, you had a right to say those entries there, we dispute them, they are not correct. You didn't do that. That is the reason why, my lord, I am saying mm. that the state knew then. Actually, it was incumbent upon I, the state to... I don't know to, that because you say you held the talks with Mr... Yes. I wasn't there. Uh, that is so, my lord. That is, I sit here. Yes. If you can give me authority for the propositions you are making, fine. I can, I'm prepared to adjourn. Go and give me prop <laughs> authorities for the proposition you are submitting to say that uh, because the OBs were not during the course of the trial disputed by yourselves. Therefore, this court shouldn't take it for granted that they are correct or that they were not disputed. Give me authority for that. I do everything on the basis of authorities. Uh, Told me authority, so England, Canada, Australia, I'm listening, fine, okay. May I get this very clear, my lord? Yes. That by virtue of the fact that the court is requesting that I should
bring an, oh, I, I should produce an authority. Yeah, because I don't know such an authority. That after the case has been debated, questions asked, Mr. Ramosipidi closed his case, Mr. Gomez will close the case of number one. The state also had closed this case. Now, the procedure tells me you've got to argue the matter. You can argue the matter, fine. But like I say, I know of no procedure where you stand up and you canvass issues. Mr. Valoy, maybe. My Lord, there is nothing that I'm conversing. I'm saying it's mm. just a clarification. You, who are you clarifying, Mr. Minister? Yes. Who are you clarifying? I, actually, I'm, I'm saying, let me put this on record. Give me an authority for that. No problem. And Come authority. with an authority and say, in the case of so-and-so, this is what happened. Fine, no problem. And I'm prepared to adjourn, and you can come with that argument on Monday. No problem. No problem. Tell me. Maybe I'm ignorant. This is what happened in this case. I know normally there's an application by either of the parties, either the defense or the, <laughs> the state, to reopen their cases for such an exigence. I know that. But you are not opening the case. You are just telling me after the case is closed. You are not making an application to say, you, as a representative of the team of the defense, you wish to open your case based on this and that and that and that and that. That's how it, it's done. Mr. Mugumezu, you are an advocate. How is it done? Okay. <clears throat> no, no, you don't okay. have to sit down. Okay, thank you, Madam. My Lord, I, I agree with the court in terms of the procedure after both parties have closed their yeah. cases. It will be a procedure for either of the parties yes. to bring an application to, to reopen. Yeah, that's the procedure I know. So, Mr. Nisi, if you say the way you're saying it. If you say you've got authority for that, fine. And Monday I come, and then you come with that application. Oh, you come with that submission. No problem. Okay. May I, may I wrap up, my lord? Yeah, wrap up. My lord, I've indicated mm. that mm. we were approached by the state with a view that we should admit the correctness of the contents of the OP entries. We said that we cannot do because we do not have instructions. But nonetheless, the state then proceeded to read the contents, which, or, I mean, the contents of the OP entries, which we have specifically indicated to the state that we do not admit to their, to their correctness. As far as I am concerned, Manot, and as far, uh, in so far, uh, in so far as I am standing. Mm. It was then incumbent upon the state to have alerted the court that in as much as the defense is allowing the reading of the set um, uh, OP entries into record, this then should not be understood to mean that the defense is acceding to the correctness of the contents thereof. Mr. That Nisi. is the position yeah, that the Mr. state Nisi. should have actually no, no. brought to the attention of the court, my lord, and not vice versa. Yeah, you should have raised that when Gininda was reading the OB, you cross-examined him, you had all the opportunity to cross-examine him and say, Brigadier Gininda, who wrote, who wrote those OBs? Like Sibande said, it's Ramat, Ramat what? The other one? Mr. Yeah, Mr. Mulifa and Mr. Ramachan. Yeah, that's it. Yes. That's it. But the Mr. state wait, already wait, knew wait. that, man. Wait, wait. Mr. Mulifa and Ramachala or whatever. When he wrote those OBs, were you there? That type of cross-examination. That is. But you let the guy testify. You don't dispute anything. When the cases are closed, you want the case to start afresh. I'm prepared to reopen both the state case and the defense case, Meromoto, after what you are saying. And then I can even recall all the guys like Gininda, who are, who are the other guys who read the records, the OBs. Uh, Sergeant uh, Mohani. And you can cross-examine them. 
And actually, if those guys are still alive, some of the, the, the scribes of those OBs, are they still alive? Um, well, they, they should be, my lord. If they're still alive, you can call them. You must come and testify there and say, it is I who wrote here. I'm, I'm, I'm not so sure we should be calling them, my lord. <laughs> Because then we, those should have been witnesses the for the, the state. Obis, don't, don't you? The Excuse me, my lord. The correctness. You say the correctness of the OBs were not accessible. My lord, that, uh, those witnesses should actually have been the witnesses for the state. And the reason why I'm, I'm, I'm emphasizing on this, my lord, is because the state already knew that position. It, is, it was there for you, the state what you to have with this? No, no, no. That's not procedure. What you discuss with the state doesn't concern me. I'm concerned with what happens in court here. Yes. I was seated here, Kinina reading the OB. Yes. You were all here. You didn't cross-examine him. You know the law. If you don't dispute that, there's a conclusive argument which can be made about whether you agree or not. Yes. Mokholeho. Mokholeho. Who's the lady? Mokhola. Mokhola also read the OBs. Yes. And uh, even Mohane right. yes. read the OBs. Yes. And you guys didn't cross examine on that. So, what must I do? Because, my Lord, because, my Lord, the give state me the authority, when it did Mr. That, Nisi, no. Yes. Just give me the authority. Fine. In I told you, in give me the authority and prepare to Lord. listen. Because I don't know of any procedure like that. Never. I've in any never. event, my Lord, I think the court was correct in saying that. The court is prepared to mirror more to reopen yes, the case. Yes, because so I'm a they, fair man. So that this I'm issue is very, should, very yes, fair. I can That's say why the yes. court can mirror more to open it. Yes. Which is unprecedented in, in our law, by the way. Yes, my lord. It's unprecedented. Yes. I'm prepared to do it yes, for fairness. As it so that nobody must complain that, uh, I mean, I'm going to say, hey, 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 and make as an addendum. What, what is your view, Mr. As it is my Lord, we propose that the matter be adjourned. We'll address those issues. Address, we'll have a chapter on public documents, the admissibility of public documents, section 234, the evidence of the witnesses, whether those documents have been proven. Hence, we were objecting against the process that Advocate Nis is embarking upon. They should address that issue in their heads, my Lord. <coughs> Yeah, so what your view is, they shouldn't yes. reopen the state case, I mean the, yes. their cases. Yes. No, they can open it. No, Mr. Well. Nisi, you can reopen your client's case. This court says you can. If there's something very critical you think, mm. it yes. will affect your preparation and debate and submissions. You can reopen the defense case. And I'm even prepared to do it now so that Monday, you come with whatever yes. submissions you want based yes. on after yes. opening the case. Yes, because he's arguing the question of weight to be attached to certain documents, which is a matter of argument. Mm. <coughs> okay, you are at liberty to reopen your case on Monday, okay? And bring the authorities. I'm, I'm, I'm not here on Monday, my lord. Where are you now? <laughs> I'm somewhere else, my lord. I'm not available on Monday, but I would request somebody to come and stand in for me. Mr. Rasip, Mr. P. Lee, because this concerns your, your, your clients, Mr. Ramasipidi and Mr. Mgumezul, what are you saying? <coughs> Yo, I was caught off guard. Hello? I was caught off guard. No, no, you know the law, man. Yes, but my you lord. reopen <coughs> the case. Okay, if the case is closed, you can't address the court. May I just... On the procedural aspects which you just let go. You apply to reopen the case. And if the application has merit, the court grants it. It happens every day. Even in the Supreme Court, counsel can argue that Mkhotling, when he was representing uh, Mr. Sebande, mm -hmm. Did not do it properly because, for instance, there is this case which says this and this and this. He didn't canvas it. So, this gentleman who I'm now representing did not have a fair representative chance because Mohajeng Kennedy doesn't know the law. 
Then the <coughs> SEA reopens the case for you to argue that exigency. I'm prepared to do it. But you don't address a submission without applying for reopening the case. That's the procedure. Is that not so, Mr. Huh? That is, my lord. My lord, in my personal view, mm. uh, I am prepared to argue that aspect. You are? I am prepared to argue that aspect at a later stage during the argument. Uh, on that point, I rest my case as well. I abandon Okay, fine. So, Monday, you are, you are not here? This argument is abandoned, my lord. It's abandoned? Yes. Oh, okay, fine. Thank you. Nanjanga <laughs> O Sergeant Mukhola and now Sergeant Mukhane, a betty gabona, gabba mele, babo, abasola, noma, bevu mele, good I found the lezo matila in Cantol, Logo Agusho, good by a vumela and now Loco, Oak Fundi Wegelana, a Rafushane, good Logo Becfanel, Ugutige, Pagwenze and Cati, Labo Faras, Beguenza, Befunda, the Nati, got a bang of Vizigo, Logo Manj, and Anjang Basset, Portugal Gonke, or Faras, a Sebeti, Lugutiba Bizo, Conagelapa, got Wage, a Clinene, Usetica. Okay, so we postpone for argument then. Uh, indeed, my lord. Um, so how many days? We, we, we've been discussing about the timetable for the filing of the heads. Um, our proposal, subject to the court approval, was that at least if we can file, uh, if all the parties can maybe file their heads uh, in a week's time, that we have, we have the whole What's of... What's a week's time? We have the whole of next week, my lord, to compile the heads, and we then um, argue the matter um, Monday in a week's time. <laughs> Is the time called a week's time? Yes. You must give me dates. Yes. Uh, I'll Say we have agreed that the heads should yes. be filed on the first of the year of Jesus Christ one. Yes. Then you're talking. Yes, that will be, um, in other words, all the parties will go compile their heads for the whole of next week. Um, maybe we file by Monday the, the 26th and maybe um, argue the matter either that Monday 26th or... 26th of uh, February. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, argue the matter on the, um, on the Tuesday the 27th. So Lord, What's the date today? Uh, today is the 16th. 16th? Yes. The, this is just a proposal from the state side. Mm -hmm. uh, it's an issue that we wanted to converse with the court yesterday so? when we came around to see the court in chambers. 16th. Uh, the 21st. This is five days. Sorry, the 21st, what, what will be the 20th, Friday will be the 23rd. Uh, this Friday? No, no, the following Friday? Yes, the following Friday will be the 23rd. Yeah, let's, let's file. Let's file. The defense can file on the 23rd. And you want to respond. You must file and they must respond. Or vice versa. Yes, well, that, that was one of the issues that we're debating whether... You know, we should do it as the onus si is on you. So in in, in on civil matters, yes, yes. So the state must prepare his if it wants to, and I'm not forcing anybody to prepare his. Yes. Mm. If you think you can come and argue out of your head, yes. no problem. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we trying to short circuit the whole process because if the state files and the defense responds, mm. that would mean we have to adjourn for approximately, I think, two to three weeks. And so what happens then? So everybody files on the 26th. Yes, yeah, so on everybody files on the 26th, then um, we. Is it okay, Mr. We, we argue on the 27th. Is it okay? Uh, normally, what happens, Mr. is the state must file first, and then we respond. We need to respond to what the state has alleged. Yeah. So, we so cannot file when, when do you file? They say they want to respond. When do you file? Yes. We, we will file by the uh, on the 26th, my lord. 
And then they respond when? Yeah, well, I suppose they'll have another week to respond. That the states be directed to file the heads in five working days, my lord, from today, which will be Friday next week. The 23rd. The, the 23rd, my lord. Right. And then the, def the defense be directed also to file five days after that, which will be the 1st of March. Then we can come back, my lord, on the 4th to argue the matter. That's my suggestion. Is it agreed? We, we will fall in okay. with fine. That's basically what, what we are suggesting, my lord. Okay, fine. Sorry. <coughs> Again, Okay, fine. Uh, um, uh, uh, okay, then it's agreed. Then the matter then is postponed to the 1st of March, subject of sure. obviously to the fact that the state files its heads by the 23rd. It will be the 4th of March, my lord. The 4th of March, that's, yes, yeah, it's that's a, it's a the Monday. case. Yes, it's a Monday, Yeah, but then you file on the 25th, and, and then the response is when? On the 1st. On, on the 1st of March, and yes. we come back on the 4th. Yes, ma'am. I can tell you now, the JP is going to be displaced, because he had said two days, today and Monday, because uh, we've got a weekend. So you don't work over weekends, Mr. Gomezo. No, man. So when you're going to pack up your bags and go to the mail, you go to the. It's all the days of the week. So the week is all the zone. I get E4. Gunda sa gula ngunya ngaga elandela yo goba genge 26 uzo tolagala ize tulo zaba zaba shushi si bese guti ge bani ge zwa ivigi abami benu uguti ba pendule ge wana bazo pendula ge ngalo ngosuklo kala ge ge na unda sa bese guti sabu ya ge tina gumsumbu lugo landela yo ngazo E4 so ikala ge shushi sela E4 ziga match season okay then we can adjourn. Okay, four. Yeah. Four March, yes. Four, one, 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 one.